Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well, as always. Uh, looks like a lot of stuff has been happening in Lucid City EMS department very recently, and it looks like a lot of people would like to see some change. As you guys know, EMS is responsible in healing people in the city, and uh, I've noticed that it's not really looked into much by the admins. Uh, I've noticed that PD always comes first when it comes to updates. That's why they have better cars or better looking cars and whatnot, but I'm not gonna be talking about that today. What I'm here about is uh, because of the complaints of a lot of people uh, within EMS or outside EMS, they claim that management has mishandled situations uh, in the past. But anyway, who am I? I'm actually the blue-haired EMS guy that you guys knew before. I was playing as Ken Wilder in the city and uh, I mean I had no enemies. I hung out with a lot of great people from police, from EMS uh, to the citizens as well. I had a really, really, really good RP there and I was even commended twice for great EMS RP uh, during my first month of becoming an EMS. However, I quit EMS because uh, the RP has been pretty bland lately. Anyway, I'm going to be talking about my character later. Uh, but right now, let's talk about Dr. Samantha Winters. Uh, she was apparently wrongfully fired by the management uh, very recently. So this all started when Pretty Little Nightmare or Samantha Winters, as you guys know her in the city, um, suggested something. Uh, she said, it'd be cool if there was blah, blah, blah. And then Pat responded with, yeah, it'd be pretty cool if you were as active in EMS as you are in the emails because you're missed in psych, respectfully, of course. And then apparently Samantha told me that uh, Pat actually uh, rephrased his message here, but she saw before it got deleted. And then, uh, yeah, you guys will see Purple just uh, posting a random photo of himself there in the in-character lobby. And then Purple responded with, this is the wrong channel for this. I recommend the EMS suggestions. So yeah, it looks like it's about to go down. And then Samantha said uh, that or keep personal comments to oneself as not everyone knows what's going on in another person's in-head life. Try to be a considerate human or maybe reach out to that person uh, you have concerns with and see how they're doing first might be a great option. And then Purple responded with patient appointments. So patient appointments is used uh, if someone needs a psych evaluation. So uh, by posting this, Purple is implying that, you know, there might must be something wrong with Samantha and, you know, she might need a psych eval. So yeah, Samantha said, uh, who here needs this? And then he responded just saying, if you got something going on, we have people here at the hospital who would love to help with this. And then Sam said, I said in head. Purple said, then why are you in the in-character lobby? Samantha said that she was responding to something that she was tagged in. It was obviously getting pretty heated uh, purple said just make sure to move things that don't belong in IC lobby we don't want IC and OOC to become mixed yeah you, you guys can tell you know there's 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 some hostility with that because you can be a good person and say I mean that person already said in head right and we're allowed to say that but you know this guy is clearly making it really difficult to uh, to talk to and you know in character OOC but apparently posted a photo of himself in the in character lobby which was supposed to be in the media section of the discord right it's very hypocritical to like call out someone on that but anyway let's move on he said I, I hope you come back refreshed and ready to work from your third or fourth LOA or leave of absence because I think Samantha was uh, dealing with moving houses and uh, she was really busy uh, doing those kind of stuff in head of course so when Samantha got upset by the conversation she went to request the conversation be removed because she felt that she was attacked and it was uncalled for and it was unprofessional and then purple said that he was just saying that he was looking forward to working with her again but if we go back here samantha actually pointed out that she was dealing with in-head things and well all he did was put out the patient appointment sheet implying that she might need some psych evaluation was he really looking forward to working with her again i don't know man so then roger uh responded here that we do not delete posts unless it violates a rule set by the city we have not deleted post in the past blah 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 so yeah bring it to management and whatnot you know very basic response and uh, uh sam said i did roger i personally emailed you and you guys have deleted post uh this was referring to 
um, the Musk situation. I, I think they they um, they exchanged some heated words back then, and Roger deleted those uh, conversation. But apparently, according to Samantha, Roger is refusing to do the same right now. Which is I don't know. Like uh, if I was looking from a third person perspective, I think that's kind of biased, right? So then they arranged to meet in game, and they flew in, and then Purple just added here. Uh, didn't your action get the hospital sued? I personally think your actions are argumentative, insubordinate, some might say. And uh, <laughs> it's about to go down. So about the situation where hospital got sued uh, because of Samantha, according to Purple. Uh, I'm going to take you back to what happened here. All right, there's uh, some copyrighted okay, music Buzz, playing Buzz. there. Buzz. Oi, how are you now, bye. That's inappropriate. You, I'm gonna oh, have geez, to I'm ask testing you out my outfit, bye. No, you gotta lose the cowboy boots. I'm sorry. Well, why would I do that? They're keeping me feet warm. No, that's inappropriate for work. Jeez, lots of people yeah, we wear should, cowboy we boots should. on the job, bye. So three minutes before the server reset, you guys can see Samantha and Mus here having a conversation where Samantha is asking Mus to remove the boots because it's inappropriate. Well, of course, Mus refused and it escalated uh, until after the server reset. So after the server reset, Mus was called up to Roger's office to have a conversation. But yeah, before we watch this, apparently uh, it was Roger who asked uh, Samantha to remove the, the cowboy boots of Mus. And she told me that she doesn't have any proof of this because uh, she was in a call with Roger at that time and you know they were really good friends and they hung out uh, outside the, the game and uh, they were on a call uh, on Discord having a conversation about Mus there. And uh, they took it to the game and uh, Roger told Sam to have Mus remove the cowboy boots because he didn't like it. Hey, how are you now? All right, Muzz, what's going on? I don't know, bye. I have to ask Sam. All right, did she ask you to remove the cowboy boots? Yeah, apparently, a nice pair of boots are not acceptable. All right, why aren't you listening to what she says? Well, I'm asking why are... Can we say, when did cowboy boots become unacceptable? <laughs> exactly. When did cowboy boots become unacceptable in a medical setting? In a medical environment, uh, doctors can wear cowboy boots. I mean, you can just do a quick Google image search of uh, doctors wearing cowboy boots on duty, and you're going to see a lot of them. So it's been okay from the get go. Well, your outfit, she says your outfit, the cowboy boots are unacceptable. She is your she boss. Nothing about you me are outfit. All right, so when I first watched this, I thought Moss was also wearing an inappropriate attire. But apparently, Roger approved the uniform of Samantha and Moss here. Uh, so this outfit, this whole outfit here, even though he was wearing a short shorts, it was approved. The only thing that was not approved was the cowboy boots. And that's what Roger was having an issue about. To, you are to listen to her. She is your boss. So she I am tells following you the, the boots, procedures, man. You change the boots. I'm following the procedures. The procedures say as long as I'm wearing boots, Muzz. I'm good to go. What's Muzz. wrong with me boots? Muzz. Yes, Your I... boss asked you to change the boots. You change the boots. That's it. End of story. Oh, we're not if a you have an issue with it afterwards, We can have a discussion. If you have an issue with what she says, then you can bring it up to myself or Gigi later. Do you think he will do anything about it? I don't think so. I don't think so. Now, okay. What he could have done here, you know, th this is poor management skills on his part because anyone with a common sense here would know that cowboy boots can be worn in a medical environment. Even if you're a doctor, even if you're a surgeon, you can wear cowboy boots. It doesn't matter. And what he could have done was talk to Samantha privately and say, okay, I think you've made a mistake here. Uh, cowboy boots are actually professional, so let him wear it. I'll let you guys go. It was a misunderstanding. That's it. Now, what Roger is about to do here is a power trip. He's going to ask Mus to remove that boots. If you don't remove it or you question my authority, you're out. All right, then I have an issue. I took the boots off like she asked me. I have an issue. Uh, why? What's wrong with and my boots? And then were you doing bare feet? Trying to do calls barefoot? Yeah. We couldn't do calls. And you, it was you don't right see, before tsunami. I couldn't do no. You don't see an issue with that? You had um, you had said, okay, I'll take the boots off. You proceeded to take the boots off, and you said you're going on a call. All right, so even if Samantha didn't have proof that Roger told him to make Mus remove the boots, 
I think I can believe it in a way because if I was the leader and uh, this is my subordinates and they made a mistake, I'm just gonna let it go and say, okay, this is a misunderstanding. Boots are fine. You guys can go. That's it. End of story. But Roger here, look at look at what he's gonna do. Because I was done talking to you, by all you did was yell. You're a kind I'm person sorry. to talk to, considering that's the first time you've ever talked to me. I'm sorry if you have an issue outside of the cowboy boots. We could talk about that at a later time. But the issue right now at hand is I ask you going to take off you the cowboy boots, change into something more appropriate, and you refused. What's wrong with me cowboy boots? Somebody tell me. They're closed toe. They're professional. There's uh, nothing in the them. SOP that's, that's I, wrong with them. That's it. She's saying that it's inappropriate. Everything's inappropriate. So we just... Is, she just as said as your whole he, outfit's inappropriate. So... Read the it. SOP. Or read the uniform procedure. At my level, I'm allowed to wear Mas, something. I'm not arguing. My boots I'm are allowed arguing. to be are changed. You, are you going to... All right. So here's the thing. If you're on a certain level in EMS, you can have your uniform approved by a management. And apparently this whole outfit was already approved by Roger. So even if Samantha was his uh, superior, you know, this is approved by Roger, which is the highest person. But the thing is, this guy is power tripping Mus. And then let's see what happens. Change the outfit, Mus. Yes or no? I, now I got to change the whole damn outfit? What's going on? Yeah. Now you want to... Now he wants him to change the whole outfit, even though he approved it already before. And Mus has uh, proof of that. Hey, the outfit, it's the yes same or... outfit as, as others wear in the in this department. Are you going to change the outfit, yes or no? I'm asking you, is this any different than the outfit that others are wearing? Sam said that you needed to change the outfit and the boots. Sam wears the da so... same damn outfit. What's wrong with me outfit? Can she you is, stop she using has... that language, please? We're she has damned? deemed it as inappropriate. It says in the SOP. Then why is she SOP, wearing the same thing? She says it's perf she, in the SOP. It says professional. I'm wearing the Sam's same outfit, outfit that she was wearing approved. a week ago. Yours was not approved. I'm wearing the exact you same outfit as her. It I sent it to you. I said, I, I sent, sent her outfit. Me? I sent her outfit to you. Yeah, I said, she got it Hey, approved. is this an approved outfit? And you said, Yes. I'm wearing the same damn outfit. What's wrong with it on me, except her. not on her? It, yes. Uh, it's not the same a Baseball outfit, outfit and, shor and shorts. The only difference is the boots, which is why it's the only thing she picked up on to yell at me about. Yeah, okay. I and then you When those are the only the thing, boots. the boots are the only thing that actually meets the uniform code. And yet she's upset about it because she doesn't like the fact that I'm wearing the same thing she's wearing. All right. Must change the outfit. Here we go. He's going to power trip him. This is, uh, this is a checkmate move here, you know. Uh, <laughs> this guy can make you do stuff, and if you don't do it, you're out. And who's higher than him? The admins. And who's gonna deal with this guy if you have complaints? I don't think anyone will deal with him. I don't know who's able to deal with him, because I did reach to a lot of admins before. I did try to talk to them, but, you know... Uh, the response I got was at the end of the day, this is Roger's department. He can do anything with it. Anything. And you're going to receive a strike for insubordination. I don't fucking care by. I don't even understand this. I'm wearing the same outfit that she wears that you said is approved. And now I'm in trouble? All right. So let, let me backtrack there. Uh, basically, uh, Moss was wearing the same uh, baseball outfit as... Uh, as Samantha and this thing was already approved so he's wearing the same thing except for the boots and now you know look. are you listening to yourselves Muzz I'm gonna have to ask you to empty your pockets of all medical supplies I'm gonna empty your pockets of all the medical supplies all right and your ID badge and flashlight all right, so you can see Mus or Sax, uh, you know, very upset here. And this was actually what got the hospital sued in contrast to what Purple said earlier that it was Samantha who got the hospital sued. It was Roger's fault in the first place because he didn't make the right decision as a management. I mean, who am I to judge how to manage things, right? But uh, in real life, I was a team leader. 
okay i handled people in the aircraft industry and what it showed was really 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 poor decision making skills and what it did was escalate the situation further and cause irreversible damage to everyone in the ems and around ems as well so this is what Sax or Mus said here. So Sax is the guy playing Dr. Mus in Lucid City. So he was able to sue uh, the hospital. And uh, at first, uh, apparently, they ignored uh, Mus. And then an hour later, lawyer calls Dr. Mus and made offers. And in the end, uh, he was able to get $375,000 plus a formal written apology from Roger which is really embarrassing and uh yeah he can also buy uh a lot of medical supplies every week at a cost at a cost i don't know what that means maybe uh on a discount i would assume so what purple said here was like way out of line very toxic behavior and in my opinion it's very disgusting to see a person like this in the medical department with this kind of rank is very unacceptable so back to the present time uh samantha and roger they set up to meet in the game and instead of dealing with the situation at hand which was you know to delete what purple and pat said in the in character lobby of discord what it did was he terminated samantha for allegedly paycheck farming so you'll see here uh gg posting uh you know management in hr would like to let ems staff know that samantha is no longer with mount zona as a staff member samantha asked for proof they said they have proof but they didn't show anything so sam said that roger had proof and the only thing that she can think of was on tuesday where she did a two-hour psych session with mikey uh, sam showed up as well and mohammed so she's got witnesses and after the psych session mikey and her decided to uh, go to the training chat uh, on discord uh, and uh, told everyone on radio that she's gonna be 10-6 to do the paperwork. 10-6 is busy. That's usually a 30-minute time frame. She showed Mike how to complete the forms for psych evaluation. Uh, they were not able to finish because she was getting bored apparently, and it was like 5 a.m. for Mikey. So they decided to, um, yeah, she decided to clock out, got on the radio, went on 1042 announced it as well no response 1042 means you're gonna be flying out or clocking out said bye to mikey flew out and then went uh clocked out on discord as well i have not been working i was in loa or leave of absence for two weeks two weeks how can i paycheck farm that's what she said now if your bosses are like this and they're the highest in rank who are you actually going to go to you're gonna go to the admins who are you gonna go to um usually most admins in lucid city they don't respond to messages i'm saying usually because there's this guy called holyfield and he actually responds to people's messages some admins will not even uh want to receive anything from anyone from the server so once you're screwed by your superior in a department that's it and i know these guys have wronged a lot of people here why well just look at the attrition rate or, or the people leaving the department the rate of the people leaving is almost the same as the people coming into the department in the first two months that i've been there i've seen a lot of people come and go not gonna lie and i've heard a lot of bad stuff some of them are afraid to speak out but as for me i have nothing to lose um i actually planned on making a video like this before and i just realized that you know these guys don't really deserve my time why would i make time to make videos about these people when they don't really deserve any of my time the problem is uh the people that i've interacted within the city whether within ems or outside ems are so affected by this and you know i would like to you know be some kind of a voice to them and this is the reason why i'm not posting this in my main channel rather than in my second channel because i don't want it to be monetized and i don't really want to get anything from this i just you know want to help out these people and get the words out there about what's happening to them so let's take a look here at another example on how management deals with people around lucid city ems so apparently mikey was suggesting something uh, about prescriptions disappearing uh, on the ground apparently uh, the solution or suggestion was denied and a solution was suggested by the management and then uh, mikey did respond here with all due respect uh, that isn't really realistic i don't really have any you know concerns about the whole response here aside from the side note here uh, she said when someone says all due respect it usually has no respect intended to the recipient just saying i mean why would you say that if you're actually not implying that this response here has no respect right why would you just say it out of the blue why i mean i'm not born yesterday and i don't think these guys were born yesterday right well let's go back here yeah it'd be pretty cool if you were as active in ems as you are in the emails because you're a missed in psych 
respectfully of course so does that mean that you know there is a chance that this statement right here has no respect intended for the recipient i'll leave it out there and then we got this report as well and nothing was ever done to this so it says here purple is driving soy bot in the back friend in the front seat also mdt was full and they deleted all the calls they kept taking everyone to nurse nancy did not start doing surgeries until kiki and i showed up 41 41 means uh clocking in they kept going on calls together taking this girl with them even though mdt was full uh mdt is uh the application where ems sees uh all the calls by the way and um you're actually not allowed to take people with you uh you cannot do ride along that's why when when people ask uh to have a ride you're actually not allowed to do it but these guys did it and they're like you know really really way up there uh in ranks even musk commented wow i went on one call and i came back to the mdt cleared great job guys so yeah there's like a lot of bad management uh when it comes to ems and it's pretty sad to see people coming to me and saying that ems has been pretty bad lately because you know ems is a huge part of the city uh it's a big responsibility they help uh, other people out and seeing other people not wanting to deal with ems anymore and wanted to be taken to nurse nancy as well and i've seen this from time and time again when i was ems in the city they didn't want to deal with ems because it was so bland and uh they just wanted to be taken to nurse nancy and at one point i had to deal with management before because i was asking them if i could be captain ems uh, permanently and i was trying to get it approved because i was thinking that it would be super fun to have a superhero ems um because we already have astronaut ems in the in the city anyway right so i was told that there's a backstory to the astronauts or the uh, time travelers so i did my backstory and then i asked uh, cosmo for approval because my character is gonna be like deadpool He's going to have a full mask on while being a, an EMS as well. So I talked to Cosmo. Uh, he said that you won't instantly get banned if you break this rule. And I doubt staff will tell you off seeing what you're wearing. And if it's obvious that it's not for criminal use, then I doubt they'll care. Um, I did tell him that I'm going to proceed with my RP. And then I also asked uh, Holyfield or Bayo, which is uh, one of the government liaisons. And I was also approved uh, based on our conversation here. He said if anybody asks about it... Uh, uh, say mary and i approved of it they've done right and also there's some conditions that i had to separate ems duties from superhero duties yeah i told him that i had separate uniform as well so this is going to be my ems outfit uh, i made it professional as professional as possible just like a real doctor and uh yeah he said okay with it and uh i asked roger for approval unfortunately it got denied his main concern was the face um so my character's backstory was he was uh in a coma he burnt his face he got into depression accidentally fell off a bridge when he got revived uh with a, an experimental drug so his main concern was the face he said it uh, represents blackface uh, i'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know that and it's a very racist uh, gesture. And his point was, well, it was blackface. Uh, even though I said that this is in no racist way, because again, I'm not pretending to be uh, to be a black person, and I'm not trying to offend uh, offend anyone. I mean, they have a point. So what I did was I changed the face into a lighter tone. I left the scars in there, and I just put a like like a black face paint on the eye, so that it would look still just like Deadpool. Unfortunately, it was declined as well. Now I asked Roger, why could, uh, you know, the time travelers or the astronauts wear a full face mask, but not me? Well, he said, thank you for bringing that up. We're not gonna allow it from this point forward. But there's actually multiple ways of covering your head, eyes, and mouth by just doing this. So what he instead wanted me to do was go to a scene without the mask on, introduce myself as EMS, put on the mask, and then treat the patient. Which anyone with a common sense here would know that eliminates the superhero roleplay, right? Because that's like Bruce Wayne going into a fight, introducing himself as Batman without the mask on, puts on his mask, and fights the bad guys. Does that make sense? It doesn't. So another checkmate move there, right? And if you look at this, uh, the only thing not covered here is his nose and his mouth, right? Well, technically, he can still cover his mouth because we're allowed to wear face masks as doctors, right? So what does this tell me? Well, in my opinion, what's hindering us from good roleplay is pride. If management doesn't like it, 
management doesn't like it and that's their decision if you want everyone to be professional and be the same then maybe implement this because this actually looks more like a doctor scrub or a nurse scrub instead of like pilots or astronauts treating patients like this and i mean if you're gonna put astronauts or time travelers as doctors then be prepared to be asked all sorts of stuff from uh, superheroes to other characters and be sure that you're gonna be fair to them right because otherwise uh in my opinion it's just biased leadership and you know at the end of the day it, this is a very small community where people knows other people who knows other people and sometimes people get to a high position or maybe they started playing in this server uh like before other players and uh, they think that they can look down on others but don't forget we're all humans here we're all capable of greatness and there's a saying that if you're so far up there and you get careless, be prepared for a hard landing. I mean, I'll leave this video out there and this is dedicated to everyone who was wronged by the EMS management. But at the end of the day, uh, it's the admin's call to reform EMS. It's not my decision. It's no one's decision, but admin's. Now they know what happened. You know, there's a saying, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. Where the shame at? And we all know that we got fooled. Not once, not twice, but multiple times. Are we gonna let it happen again? How many times do we have to be fooled before something has to change? Anyway guys, I'll end the video here. Have a great day to everyone. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.